somebody borrowed 3,000 for 3,000 rupees for four years and 8,000 for two and a half years from Sonia at the same rate. If the interest earned by Sonia was 2,880 rupees, find the rate of interest. So let's again do this problem on simple interest. So this is again a problem on simple interest. So there are two situations. Principal is uh, 3,000 rupees. Your number of years is four. And you, you, you want to find the rate of interest. So let's say rate of interest is X. And the second situation is your principal is 8,000 rupees. The principal is 8,000 rupees. Your N is 2.5 years or two and a half years or 2.5 years. This is four years. And the rate of interest is the same, which is X. This is X. And finally, what is given is total interest. You can, I, I can write, I'll write RET. Total interest is rupees 2,880. You want to find the rate of interest. So let me call this I1. Interest in the first situation would be your principal. Principal would be 3,000 times X over 100 times 4. So this 100 and 100 gets cancelled. So your I1 interest in the first situation is 4 times 3 is 12. So this is 120x. Okay, your I2, so let me do it here. Your I2 interest in the second situation would be 8,000. 8,000 times 2.5 over 100 times, uh, no, your, your, this X, rate of interest is X, so this is X over 100, X over 100, and 2.5 I'm writing as 25 over 10. So this 100 and the zero gets cancelled, so your I2 is 25 times 8, which is 200X. So I hope you understand I1, plus I2, interest in the first situation plus interest in the second situation is equal to the total interest, which is IT. So this is a simple linear equation. This is 120X plus 200X is equal to 2,880. So this is 320X is equal to 2,880. So dividing both sides by 320, your x, which is the rate of interest, is 2,880 times 10 divided by 32 times 10. I want to do this without a calculator, so 10 and 10 gets cancelled. So this is, this you can divide by 4. This is 4 times 72. And this is 4 times 8. 4 times 7 is 4 times 7 is 28, and 4 times 2 is 8. So 4 times 8. So 8. So this is again you can write this as 8 times 9 over 8. So this 8 gets cancelled. Your x is 9, which implies your rate of interest, your r, is equal to 9%. Your rate of interest is 9%. So let's confirm whether the answer is right. So your I, so let me use a different color. So your I1, your I1 would be 120x, which is 120 times 9. 120 times 9, 12 times 9 is 108, so this is 1080. And this would be 200 times 9. 200 times 9, which is 1,800. So 1,800, so let's confirm 1,800 plus 1,080 is 2,880. So answer is right.